This is our first rain here at Contentment. It rained before when we were here, but we weren't here when it rained. How you doing? <laughs> Don't film me like this. Oh, I look terrible. I'll get you up close. No! My Gosh. face is falling. Tell us what happened today. <sighs> okay, so in 1999, I was in a very bad car accident or car wreck, and my acetabular. I had an acetabular fracture. That's the ball on the where it hit, joins the hip joint from your leg. Yeah. Yes. And so I was in traction and all of that. And every so often, and it has been years and years, I can't even remember the last time this happened, if I just bend over regularly to pick something up, my back goes out. So this morning when I started to do the laundry, I bent over just regularly to pick up the detergent. And, and boom! And it's like, ugh. So, I'm a little gimpy today, but that's why I'm laying on I'm sorry, life. but you managed to lift that wall. Well, you lifted it first. You started it, but then I lifted it the rest. Am I, is it lying or laying? That's why Things I'm, lay, people lie. I'm, that's why I'm lying down on the ground. Look at my fat, ugly face. I probably look... <laughs> you don't look bad. <laughs> anyway, oh, and it's hard to walk. I can't stand up straight. And I, like I said, I cannot remember the last time it happened. It was years ago. Egypt's very good at this job. Yeah. No, not really. Hey! It's a good day to die! I hope you don't fall off and die.
So, it's about dinner time, and uh, we've been working. We got three sides of the shouse uh, completed, and uh, this one is going to present a bit of a challenge to us because we have this extra wall with Claire Story windows that needs to go up on top of it, and it's way too heavy for Robert and I to lift ourselves and put it up there. So we're gonna have to rig some kind of contraption up there. But uh, yeah, we've got it sided anyway. It's not fully nailed, but it's mostly nailed. <laughs> and we gotta cut out the windows and door openings. So we'll get to that. But uh, for now, it's just, the nice thing about this is that having this at least three sides enclosed provides a nice little windbreak for us now where we didn't have before might actually be able to cook and maybe even set the tent up in here even though it's not finished so that would help us huh robert it would it would it's what, quite what are you doing making dinner oh yeah fajitas fajitas with beef cubes canned beef cubes. with canned beef cubes canned yeah. beef cube fajita that'll work it's good stuff but we're having smells good that's the vegetables <clears throat> cooking right now. Awesome. So, and here we are set, set up just inside the little tent and fly enclosure here to keep the wind out. But, uh, yeah. So, just a rundown on uh, what we did here. These sheets of T111 siding are exactly 96 inches long. And uh, the way you install them is you, you install them. I don't know if you can see that up there but uh, about oh you want to make it so it's square with the wall that using these actually helps to square the, the stud wall but uh put it about halfway up the bottom plate there and then about an inch and a half below uh the bottom yeah the bottom plate uh, on the bottom and then we've nailed this into the rim joist um, as well as the plate in places but most of the rim jo joists, and there's an important reason for that. When we go to move this building someday, and we pick it up, we'll pick it up by the runners. But that doesn't mean that everything's going to stay rigid necessarily. Um, and nailing this into the rim joist when things begin to bend a little bit will help keep the building sort of held together uh, so that it doesn't loosen, crack, and, you know, come apart. Um, so that's what we've done. Uh, so th th anyway, this is called a rim joist. And, um, uh, or banding as I I've also heard it called. Uh, we've marked our places to cut for the window openings. Um, you'll notice we only did one element of the window. We'll come back, we'll cut this first. We'll cut out this section first since we have it. Then once we get we can get in there with a tape measure, measure it, mark it, and cut the other piece out. So it'll all be done at once, but we only marked half because that's all we need to do right now. Same for this window. So with the winds we have out here, I think it <clears throat> I think it's best to go ahead and build in a little extra insurance into this structure because we don't want it to get damaged by wind or blown away. There is a uh, someone we met out here who said that he a number of years ago someone attempted to build a structure not too far from here, uh, and we don't know what kind of structure it was, and he couldn't say, but it was a small you know type of lean-to type cabin probably with a shed roof like this and uh, he said that it just blew apart uh, from the high winds and that's not going to happen here so what i did was i invested in some six inch long ring shank nails these are going to go through the plate into the foundation and also have some hurricane clips which are little 90 degree straps 
that will attach to the rafters to the walls. And uh, so it gives a little extra insurance against the wind. So we'll do that. Well, I don't know. I'm debating on showing this, but <laughs> we had this all plumbed up yesterday <clears throat> and we put the that board on there to try to shore it up, plumb it up and everything and and we put the siding on it. Um <clears throat> but it was very very windy yesterday and when we got ready to go and put the top story on up there we started checking for plum and it was way way crack so we decided to hook it up to the car and pull it into place which worked we've done some kind of curious things trying to get this front side up <laughs> Yeah, but you know, we don't, we have to use the tools and the things we have on hand to use. So, anyway, we're about to put the rest of the siding on this side to make it um, more stable and plumbed up and fixed. Then I don't know what we're going to do. you can see that we should show it from the inside oh well we've marked these window openings here on the outside there are four of them here they are on the inside we're not going to cut them open until the windows get here while we're finishing up the rafters and things so there are the windows four of them claire stories ho uh, hopper windows that's going to be a way to circulate the air we have these windows here hopefully they'll be enough if not we plan to put um some openings down here so the idea of this type of uh, design is that these higher windows form a sort of suction that brings in the cool air and stuff and takes the hot air, which is already up higher out. So now we're gonna put rafters up. <laughs> <laughs> 